Have you thought that a gas cook stove is just the top of the line? Think Top Chef. That's just like the most desirable way to cook. Well, if so, you're not alone, but I want to give you four big reasons to change your mind about that. Hi, my name is Joan Gregerson, and I'm the host of the Denver Green Living YouTube channel. I'm a realtor based in Denver, and I help people buy, sell, and invest with confidence, as well as making a positive environmental impact along the way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the reasons really quick, and then I'm going to share with you some of the, the research and the articles, and the, the links to those are in the description below. Okay. So the first reason is that there are, that new research is showing that there's a lot of harmful chemicals that are emitted with gas cooking and um, that, and it mostly, it, it impacts kids even more so and is linked to increased rates of asthma. So that's number one is the health impacts. Number two, if you think about it, if you're cooking with gas, there's no way you can reduce your carbon footprint because gas can't be cleaned up. If you go to electric, a standard electric cooktop or induction, then that can be powered by solar on your roof or renewables um, on the grid. The third is that there are, that this is pretty shocking, but three quarters of the methane that is released during for gas cooking is when it's not even being used. So if you're thinking, well, I just won't use my gas cooktop it's still emitting that greenhouse gas. Um, and then the fourth reason is that because there are regulations coming down the pike um, to discourage people from using gas, to get off gas so that we can have homes that are um, net zero energy, net zero emissions homes. So you're gonna be seeing that that is going to be more desirable. So if you choose gas cooking now, that's going to be less desirable later and um, for future homeowners. And there's also incentives coming on to help you go to gas. So the combination of codes getting stricter and stricter, um, you just, these are four big reasons that you don't want to be considering a gas cook stove as an upgrade. You have this, if you have this opportunity when you're buying a new home, you're upgrading your own, just think twice about choosing gas. All right, so now I wanna go ahead and show you some of the, the articles because I think you'll find this interesting if you want to dive into it a bit more. All right, so the first one that I wanna look at is um, this kind of summary article that is um, it's from CBC, this is in Canada. And the title is, after seeing how gas stoves pollute homes, these researchers are ditching theirs. And this is April, 2022. Burning natural gas generates high level of nitrogen oxides linked to asthma in children. And so you can, read through this, but the the main thing is that when when the pilot light or when the, the gas is lit, um, that is one time when there's a lot of um, these chemicals emitted, the nitrogen oxide. Um, but the other thing was it took a long time for it to go away. So it, that lingers. And um, let's see, another thing here is that the the idea about gas stoves that are leaking unexpected high levels of methane even when they're off so you know this is what these researchers decided was that they didn't want to throw out a perfectly good electric stove or gas stove but um, once they kind of saw these these links um, and the, the other thing I wanted to mention is that natural gas, that what is being extracted now, a lot of that is coming from fracking. So if you're not a big fan of fracking, but you want a gas cook stove, that may not be aligning with your values. Okay, so let me go and let's um, 
let's pop over to another article. This is something the American Medical Association in June of 2022, so just less than a month ago from this time, um, put out a resolution to state that um, that cooking with a gas stove increases household air pollution and the risk of childhood asthma. So this isn't just some fringe group that is talking about it, but the American Medical Association is now recommending against gas cooking for the health um, as far as with kids. Uh, Rocky Mountain Institute or RMI, rmi.org, has been doing a lot of research on this and um, you know, kind of summarizing the health case for transitioning to all electrical cooking has been slowly mounting for more than 40 years. Um, we have the tools to do so. Canada recently strengthened indoor and outdoor nitrogen dioxide limits to protect public health. So, you know, this is just more of that same thing that gas stoves um, re emit a lot of pollutants, notably nitrogen dioxide and carbon monoxide. Homes with gas stoves have nitrogen dioxide concentrations 50 to 400 times higher than homes with electric stoves. And for children um, living in a home with gas stove increase their risk of having asthma by 42%. This may um, impact lower income homes more likely. And um, Ventilation is the main way to mitigate this, but it can't be relied on um, completely. Okay, so that's the RMI study. Um, the next one is the Popular Mechanics. They're, they're saying, this was in February 2022, your gas stove is bad for you and terrible for the environment. I mean, the picture of gas stoves, we just have it so burned into our heads um, that that's desirable, you know, that that's like a fancy luxury type of thing that everybody would want. So I think it's important that we know. Um, and, you know, here's one of the things is that they're comparing it to that gas stoves leaking is the equivalent amount of greenhouse gas of 500,000 cars. That's a pretty big number. Um, and let's see, I thought there's a couple other things here. Uh, the, oh, this was interesting. The leakiest stoves were the ones that used a pilot light. Um, most newer ranges have done away with that. Um, instead, they use a built-in electric sparker that creates the flame. But regardless of the age or brand, methane was released into the air during ignition. Um, and so that's what they're saying. Even the newer ones still have the same issue. Okay. And the, the final uh, reason that I mentioned is that building codes, cities are, are discouraging the use of gas cook stoves now. They're trying to move people to net zero um, homes. And so if you upgrade to a gas stove, and then you later find out, oh, wow, people don't really want this because of the indoor air pollution, because of the carbon emissions. You're going to be investing in something that is not considered a luxury item. All right. So that is um, that's what I wanted to share with you. And um, let me stop sharing there. So those are the top four reasons to pass on gas cook stoves. And the number one reason is because of the health impacts uh, for people in the home. One thing I meant to say is one of the research, it showed that uh, because you can use your, your vent hood. So if you're going to be cooking, then turn on your vent hood every time you are using your gas cook stove. And generally the way it's placed, the back burners that are better ventilated than the front burners. Um, so the first reason is the health impact. Second is the carbon emissions from the, um, the gas that you're using. The second is that it's emitting the methane even when it's off. 
And the fourth reason is that it's going to be a less desirable feature. So why invest more to have a gas cook stove um, when you can go to a regular electric um, cook stove or induction cook stove? All right. So that wraps this one up. If you have other ideas for things that you'd like me to cover, please leave those messages in the comments or reach out to me. Um, and you can book a time to chat, text, email me. You can find all that contact info at denvergreenliving.com. And I look forward to seeing you in the Mile High City.